We start by bringing cranberries, sugar, water, and salt to a boil, and then simmer it gently until all the cranberries have burst and started to shrivel. We transfer our hot cranberry mixture to the food processor and drizzle in a mixture of three egg yolks and just two teaspoons of cornstarch. After a 45 minute rest, let the mixture come down to 125 degrees. We'll process in some softened butter to add luxurious richness. Now we just strain it and just look at that gorgeous color. Now before this goes into the crust, I'm going to steal two tablespoons for our whipped cream. Then we'll pour it into our pat in the pan almond flour gluten-free crust, making sure it's nice and level. And we'll let it sit for at least four hours to set up and cool. This cranberry curd sets up so nicely that we can actually use a portion of it to stabilize the whipped cream that we're gonna pipe on top. The calcium ions in the cream help the pectin molecules in the curd link. The upshot is a whipped cream topping so stable that it can be piped onto the tart hours before serving. We'll whip our cream mixture to stiff peaks and then pipe a nice decoration on top. Okay, let's cut a beautiful slice and try it. It's so good, perfectly tart, and it's packed with cranberry flavor.